Good afternoon and welcome to this special episode of Jumping Let's Play. This episode we are taking a look at how to play Trek 12 in advance of our board games event this Sunday the 10th of April. So if you've not played before, strap in, sit down and watch on. So the objective of Trek 12 is to create lines and zones of numbers in these circles by rolling two dice and adding the results, those two dice in different combinations. So we can use the higher or lower, we can minus one from the other, we can plus them together or we can times them. Now, you can't have a number in here larger than 12 in any given circle. So you'll have to be very careful with these as well. As you move on, you'll be crossing these out. So uh, some of your options will run out over the course of the game. So we will get started. So we roll our dice. So we've got a three and a five here. So we've got a few different options. We can choose the three. We can choose the five. We can minus the three from the five. We can add them together or we can times them. Now, because there's a limit of uh, a total of 12 in any given circle, we're not going to times them here. We could add them together. So let's do that. So we cross this out here. And then for this first number, we can place it anywhere in here. So we're going to go here like so. Once you've done that, all the other players are doing theirs simultaneously and they get to choose whichever one they would like. So we roll the dice again. We have got a three and a six. So here I'm going to add those together again. I'm going to chuck mine in there. Now, when you've got more than uh, one number, as you're adding numbers into the uh, circles, you'll be creating either lines or zones. So a line is uh, consecutive numbers. So we've got an eight and a nine there. So we'll be putting those together and then we will just mark them off with their own little pattern there. If we had another eight, we would create a zone and then that would score uh, in a similar fashion. So we'll roll our dice again. We have got a five and a zero. We'll choose the five. So we will put this here. So it has to go adjacent to any previously placed number. But hopefully we get other things to uh, go next to this. So we're going to times these. So we're going to put a four here. So that's going to create another line. So we're just going to. Fold that in there. There we go. We roll again. So we've got an eight here now. So we could add them together. We could times them, which we don't want to. We can minus one from the other, or we can choose the highest or lowest. What we're going to go for is we're going to say the lowest there. So we're going to do this, which means that we've got ourselves a zone here. There we go. So each number can be part of a zone and a line. So we've got two and a zero. So let's go for the highest. Let's put our two in here. We roll the dice again. We got a four and a zero. Okay. Let's use a minus and let's go here. So these two, nothing happens at the moment because there are no uh, consecutive numbers here. So they don't form a zone or a line at this time. So we've got five and a five. So let's take that. Let's go here. So this is going to form there. But we also get ourselves a zone here as well. Let's 
we've got ourselves a six and a two. So let's go for, let's multiply them. And we're gonna go up here. And we've got ourselves a five and a four. So let's go for the highest one. Let's go there, add that into this zone. We have a two and a four. So let's go for the lowest one, put the two here. So that's gonna create us another zone. So we'll just mark that off as another zone. In fact, let's minus them from each other. There we go. Another five. Or we can go for a minus. So we're going to put a three in here, which means that these will link up. Okay. <laughs> Let's add them together. Let's chuck another five in there. That finishes that zone off. It can't go any further. We've got a five and a three. So let's go for the lowest of those and go in here. Go around there like so. There we go, we've got ourselves another 12. That is just what we need. And you just have to make sure that you mark these off differently. Okay, so let's add those together. So we've got ourselves a three there. Well, that one's not great, so we'll use the higher number. We're going to have to chuck that one in there. If you have any numbers that are isolated, isolated at the end of the game, now I'm going to score you minus three points. There we go, and we've got a five or a four or a three. We'll just put the three there. Okay, so that is the end of the game. You'll see that there's always an option left at the end between two. We've got 19 circles. We've got 20 squares up here to choose from. So now we go to the scoring of the uh, route. So scoring is relatively simple. You'll simply uh, take the lines or the zones and you will find the highest number in the line or whichever number it is in the zone and then you add a point for each circle in there so if we start up here so we've got 12 here in the zone of two so we've got 12 we get 13 points because we've got 12 and there's an extra circle there so 13 goes in here we'll then come down we've got a line here nine and ten Here we've got a zone for that's five. Here we've got a line of five, six. And we've got five, six there too. Here we've got one, two, three, four, five. So that's a zone of five. And then we get five, six, seven, eight, nine points there. If we come here, we have got um, a zone of two so we've got two three points here we've got a zone of three so it's three four five points 
So we would also be checking for any bonuses as well. So the largest zone and the longest line will score us a bonus on here, starting with a line or a zone of three. So we'll just take a look through here. We don't have any lines bigger than two, so we don't get anything there. But our zone, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we just go across, we have ourselves six points. And now we'll go through and we'll add these up. So we've got 22 here. And here we have got 19, 32, 41. Uh, unfortunately we've got two there so we've got two sad faces so we minus six from that and then that will live up leave us our total score so we have got ourselves 63 so 57 in total if you manage to uh reach the summit you get a uh star here and then there are also extra stars if you're playing different modes of the game so we'll just go through the different modes as we will be playing uh the full game in the uh, board games event on sunday 10th of april so we have got our solo modes of our uh ordinary mode rather they call it trekkers so in this will give us our basic rules and you can see we've got the uh, score in there in this one we will be doing three rounds so we'll do one round on this map we will then proceed to Cagcot for the next round on this one there is a slight difference you see these circles here where in the previous map it was a maximum of 12 that you could put in any circle. So here you can see we've got the normal circles. In this one, it's a maximum of six. So it's going to make you think a bit more about uh, where you can place and what you can place. Finally, the third round will be uh, this one here. You can see it's increased the amount of uh, zones that you can only place a six or less in. Once we've done those three, we will be playing through uh, this mode here. So this is the expedition mode, and this is effectively the campaign. What will happen here is you will play through all three maps one by one, and then you'll be following the rules for the uh, expedition. So in here, you have a uh, summit, so the number of points that you need to complete the ascent. So if you manage to do it, you get the stars, race to the summit, which is the person who obtained the highest score. And then something we will then be starting in the shop is the beta record. So everyone on uh, the event on Sunday is going to give us our first round of records. And then we'll be using those in a similar fashion to the board games challenge to see if people can beat them. You'll also be using these assist cards in the final round. These will be uh, available to people to allow them to uh, alter their uh, dice rolls, give them different effects. So we can see just a few there. And then if people manage to, we've got the challenge envelopes. If they manage to complete any of these objectives, again, we'll go into a bit more detail on the uh, day of the event itself so that everyone is aware of what they will need to do and you can see here we've got our hall of fame so we will be keeping records of everyone's scores we'll be getting a blown up version of this as well to keep them on so that is everything in trek 12 that is how you play the game it's a great introduction to roll and write games and is a really thinking type of game. Um, as you can see here, we had a couple of uh, mishaps, but it's really, really good fun, uh, really enjoyable, easy to learn. You'll be playing within minutes. If you'd like to play in the event on the 10th of April, do comment below or call us on 01843 316 281 or visit us on Ramsgate High Street to book your spot. We've already got a few bookings in now, so uh, space is running out for people. Thank you, guys. We'll see you in the boardroom.